Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you were Tisa Tells, you are tired. Y'all, the people are coming at the culture again in 2024. We letting them know, no, 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 it ain't going down like that. Who is the latest person that stepped up to the bat? Well, if you're guessing DJ Vlad, you be right, because you know whenever there is Black people's business, he is all in the middle of it, telling us what we need to think about our music, telling us what we need to think about our culture, and telling us who's beloved and who isn't. DJ Vlad is a culture vulture, in my opinion. If you listen to other people, baby, they say he the feds. I don't understand why the cuckoo coos keep going on that show, but hey, it is what it is. One person that says it's going to be what it ain't, what it ain't, is Marlon Wayans, okay? Marlon Wayans and DJ Vlad, and thank you, Barely Renee, for sending this to me, are literally going at it right now. Now, Mar Marlon Wayans is taking DJ Vlad to Pound Town, and DJ Vlad did the only thing a culture vulture could do. He literally turned around and made disgusting, homophobic anti-LGBTQ and anti-Black statements. I'm not surprised, but I want y'all to listen to this and tell me if you agree with me. Again, this is just my opinion. But I'll tell you what, how long until The Breakfast Club is out there checking and jiving, doing the thing, doing image rehab for DJ Vlad, okay? Because at the end of the day, we can say what we want about, but we need to start looking at who is the line because, anyway. You already know how I feel about Charlemagne the God, DJ Envy, has the federal investigation, I'm sorry, federal lawsuit on DJ Envy ended yet. Are they going to talk about that? Mm -mm. But I know they're going to come out and defend DJ Vlad. How does DJ Vlad even have a platform? It's so odd to me. Anyway. Um, this is from Ball Alert. They said Marlon Wayans and DJ Black clash at the comedian's 40K interview request sparks a feud, okay? So they said the conflict began when Marlon Wayans demanded 40K and 30% of the revenue for future appearances on Vlad's platform. Now, first of all, listen, somebody got the right to charge whatever they're going to charge. Why are you so mad? Just say yes or no. Like, why are you offended? And honestly, yes, if it Somebody better be running up DJ Vlad's pockets. Anyway, right? The situation escalated after DJ Vlad released a clip featuring comedian Aerie Spears, where they both laughed at Marlon Wayne's asking price. Am I dreaming? Marlon Wayne's asked for 40K. Okay, you think he's worth it or he's not. DJ Vlad, in response, then put up a clip with comedian Ari Spears and accused PDF file, accused of grooming, accused of all this stuff. And you put that up to roast one of the most beloved black figures in the black community, the Wayne's family, y'all, these culture vultures are getting way too comfortable. Where instead of talking to the mofos that got their feet kicked up and dirty and dirty Tim's on your mom's couch, why don't you look at your cousins and actually bought them to the annual Black People Barbecue? I'm looking, forget about DJ Vlad, this Michael Rubin, all these things, because honestly, who cares? I'm looking at the people that keep coming and giving them a seat at the table. Yeah, those are the real things. They pointed out that despite being part of one of the Hollywood's most successful families, Marlon Wayans had not gone viral or gained significant traction for his past interviews. Let me tell you something. Again, you put up you kicking with an accused PDF file who does gross skits with children, and that's your drag, and people are defending this mess? Jesus, what? Anyway, unsurprisingly, Marlon Wayans caught wind of the clip and defended his demands, insisting they were justified. He put up a montage of all his views saying, um, uh, see, I tried to tell him I was giving him a deal. Oh, well, Black quickly responded on the same platform, dismissing the idea that anyone would pay 40K for an interview of Wayne's. Marlon Wayne's found someone with 200K followers to agree with him. Well, nobody on earth is going to pay Marlon 40K for an interview when he gets 100 to 300K views on any platform he interviews on. Um... DJ Vlad is way too comfortable and he's not even that talented and he is arrogant and he's, he's putting, mm, anyway, right? 
Anyway, Marlon Wayans clapped back and said, you mad? You're unprofessional. He is. My, he said, you're unprofessional, my guy. If you don't like the number, keep it moving. You look bad. You should fall back. You mad at a black man for stating his number and now you go public and use your platform to try to drag me? I've never in my life melt, dealt with this silly negotiating tactic. Let's also not forget the last time DJ Vlad went viral, it was to get a black professor fired, tried to get her, or I'm sorry, threatened to try to get her fired from her job on Twitter. And it wasn't until Twitter rolls around her that he said, oh, well, you know. And then Charlemagne and the Cuckoo Coons on The Breakfast Club was like, yeah, well, you know, that's Vlad. Everybody got a right. Let's see how quick they defend this too. Anyway, Vlad then went, took the low route and suggested that Marlon Wayans might be a part of the LGBTQ uh, community and took shots at his role in the film White Chicks. He said, Marlon Wayans, I'm sorry that you don't find me attractive. Fortunately for both of us, I'm heterosexual. Between your recent gay photo shoot and your claim to fame dressing up as a woman, this will be a perfect time to fully come out the closet. Y'all really letting this man do this to a beloved? First of all, the Wayans family is Hollywood royalty. They're damn sure black Hollywood royalty. And you letting... DJ Vlad, in my opinion, problematic self, come out here and call himself Dragon. He has gotten too comfortable. He is a guest in the culture, acting up, rubbing his dirty tips all over your mama's white couch. Anyway, he said, coming out as gay in 2024 will surely revive your declining acting career. And since I turned down your 40K offer for an interview, I'm pretty sure you can get that amount for your first gay P scene. Marlon Gwaines would be an awesome P name, by the way. But first of all, that's not even funny or clever. Y'all let this mofo get comfortable because it wasn't me, I was never watching his show. Marlon Wayne, they said, see, DJ Vlad, this is the moment you've been begging for. I asked you to leave me alone. Let it go. But you want to kick a bee's nest? You can't compete with me, bro. I am a legend. He is a legend. And occasionally I'll come off the throne to spar with peons like you. Keep going. There's levels to this esh. He said, why black celebrities will never respect Vlad TV, pointing out how they dislike Vlad, uh, uh, pointing out how Vlad TV is so disliked in the black community. Hey, he said, hey, and he tagged them, DJ Vlad, you are way too hated by the urban community to F with me. I'm loved, you ain't. Watch the video, where's your face? Mad you couldn't exploit me? How much the government paying you, Brody? Hope it's at least 40K. Yo, DJ Vlad is insane for doing this. He is hated in, well, at least in my part of the black community. Nobody does respect him. And the pe people that are key king and politician, they're part of that same circle. Again, I'm telling y'all, there is a new, you want to talk about Illuminati and world order? Baby, it's simple. It's dollars and cents. There's a new stream of entertainers and people in the media that realize that they can lick the boots of some uh, billionaire. They might get a few pennies. And that is what they're loyal to. That's what they're loyal to. As a matter of fact, half the time, they don't even like the communities they came from because those communities remind them that they are bootlickers and pathetic and annoying. But for DJ Vlad to make anti-LGBTQ, to try to humiliate, to be sitting there kicking with a known PDF ball, all because Marlon Wayans does not, all because Marlon Wayans gave him a price he ain't what? Keep it moving. And Marlon Wayans is so irrelevant. If you didn't care about Marlon Wayans, if he's this, if he's that, why did you even ask him for an interview, DJ Vlad, unless you actually did think you could exploit him? And you're mad that unlike all these little knuckleheads and lean rappers and strugglehead and all these other things, you're mad, right? Listen. You're mad. You're mad. You're mad that you came up against one black man that won't let you exploit him. And baby, he don't need your views and he don't need your name and he don't need to sit on that couch and look at your sickly complexion and that little dirty ass red beard. Anyway, that's just my opinion.
Let me know what you think of the vlog. Let's talk to y'all later. Bye.